In the last year, you've picked up your lives and moved to a new community. You've navigated the core course. You completed all of your rotations and selected your mentors. That's a huge accomplishment. I could not be more excited to be here today uh, to celebrate with all of you. It's a remarkable thing to realize that you can be a pioneer going into realms where no one else has gone before and making connections that no one else has been able to see. Being a scientist is truly an amazing opportunity. So I'm here today to talk about the important relationship between a graduate student and a mentor. And I think the most important is to communicate with your mentor, whatever form that may take. Remember that your mentor is not perfect. Most of us got this job because we pipette well. Your PI is your newest mentor, but it's not your only mentor. Mentoring comes in lots of different forms and you should take advantage of all of it. There will come a point in most graduate student careers when you will come to the conclusion that your PI is a complete idiot. <laughs> this is very normal and you should not freak out at this point. To me, this actually represents a very important milestone when you have gained enough knowledge and experience to appreciate how little your PI actually knows. I'm really excited to continue to watch you guys grow and develop over the next few years and I wish you great success in your new labs. Thank you. For all you've already achieved and to all of the achievements yet to come, we can't wait to see what the future holds in store for all of you. So congratulations to all of you for achieving this incredible milestone today. I am so glad that you are all here at the University of Virginia School of Medicine to undertake this significant journey that is ahead of you. Congratulations. Congratulations.